Hey, Max here from Abstract Automation. So if you've been using Zoho CRM for some time now and you know that you have Zoho campaigns included in your subscription, but you're not quite sure how to get started, this is the video for you. Let's break it down. I'm gonna go through the five most important things that you need to do before you start sending out emails. And let me just run through them real quick just so you know where I'm going with this video. So number one, you have to verify your email domain to make sure that your emails land in people's inboxes and not into their junk and spam folders. So that's number one. Number two, you have to configure your company profile settings inside of Zoho campaigns. So when people get your emails, they know who you are and you will have a better chance of having good deliverability if you put those details or imprint those details in your email campaigns. So that's our number two. Number three is configure your topics. So this is not required. Uh, you do have a sort of generic topic set up in Zoho campaigns, but if you're sending uh, emails regarding different categories or different um, major aspects of your business, you may want to set up topics so that your recipients can decide which kinds of emails they want to get from you and which kinds of emails they would like to unsubscribe from instead of just a complete um, unsubscribe option. So the last thing is how do we sync over the contacts in Zoho CRM over to Zoho campaigns so that you don't have to constantly be doing exports and imports of your contacts to keep your mailing lists up to date. And then we're going to create segments in Zoho campaigns based on attributes of those contacts in the CRM so that you can target specific groups of contacts based on fields in your CRM. All right, so let's get into it. So number one, set up your email domain. So we're in Zoho campaigns right now. We're going to go to the settings button in the top right hand corner and there is a section listed as domain authentication down here on the left. We're going to click that. So uh, the domain that you use for your email address that you use to log into Zoho campaigns will automatically be listed here. If you would like to add additional domains or dot coms uh, for sending, you can click add sender in the top right hand corner. But uh, for your base domain, what you'll need to do is click this setup button here. And now this part, most people are going to want to hand over to a professional, somebody in the IT industry, uh, somebody who might be a, um, somebody who helps you with your website design or your web hosting. Those are the kind of people that are gonna know what to do with this information. Um, and each hosting company is different. So I suggest that you use the option on the lower left-hand corner that says share with your IT admin. And what this will do is you put in the email address of your IT administrator or support person, and this email contains all the information and details that that person will need to do what they need to do with your domain host to validate your email domain with Zoho campaigns. Now, why is validating your domain important? Well, number one, Zoho campaigns will not let you send an email until you perform this step, okay? So that protects you from being categorized as a spammer, essentially, okay? Um, what this does is it tells the world that you've been verified and that uh, even though you're sending email from Zoho campaigns, that Zoho campaigns and the world know who you are. They know the company that is doing the sending. It verifies your identity and you are just way more likely to land in inboxes and not spam and junk folders. Now that brings us to our number two, which is related to deliverability. And so again, to make the best out of your deliverability, you wanna do two more things in Zoho campaigns. One is go to the general settings and company details and make sure you edit and fill out this information uh, completely and accurately. Uh, this just is uh, our information about your company, how to contact you, what industry you're in, your address and all that sort of information. And then you're going to similarly do the same thing under setup and there's a section here, imprint details. So although this is similar, it's a little bit different, you're going to key in all of your company information here with correct uh, legal information and email address information. And this information gets embedded in a non-visible area of the email, okay? And email servers and other technology will use this information to really just um, get a better comfort level with the person, you, that's sending the email to trust that it's coming from a reliable source. Again, it's all about landing in the inbox and not in the junk folder. All right, so make sure you do those three things. Those are all about deliverability. All right, so we have a couple more things to go here. I wanna talk about topics in Zoho CRM. Now this is an optional feature. We go to the contacts area over here on the left and then over to manage topics. When you first start using Zoho campaigns, it comes as a default with a single topic called marketing, okay? And 
that's all most people need and that's all you don't really have to do anything here if you don't want to however if you only have a single topic like marketing when somebody unsubscribes from your mailing list they only have the option to do a complete unsubscribe or to not unsubscribe in other words there's no sort of granular email preference control right that's what topics give you in Zoho campaigns if you set up multiple topics instead of somebody doing a complete 100% unsubscribe from you they will have the option of unsubscribing from individual topics okay so you might create a topic for monthly newsletter and then maybe you have another topic for important customer alerts right um, and so a customer might get an email that's your marketing sort of newsletter and they decide that well you know I don't want to get this newsletter anymore but they might see that they would also be unsubscribing from important customer alerts and they can have that option to choose to unsubscribe for of one or multiple topics right so I hope that makes sense that's the most common use case for topics if you want to just leave it at marketing one topic all good next thing setting up the sync with Zoho CRM you want to make sure that your contacts when they're added to Zoho CRM or leads uh, and they're edited in the CRM that that information automatically flows over to Zoho campaigns this is probably why most people are going to be watching this video so let me uh, really focus in on this topic so let me show you my CRM or the demo CRM that we have here real quick so we have uh, a bunch of account records in the CRM so these are the companies that the contacts belong to and in particular there's a field called account type here and I've designated all of the accounts in the CRM here as being either a customer a prospect or a vendor because what I'm going to want to do is bring that field over into Zoho campaigns and create a segment for each of those and in this way when I send an email I can target just prospects or just customers or both or just vendors or any combination of those three targets okay that is called segments and we can use the fields in Zoho CRM to build our segments so here's our information in the CRM let's jump over to Zoho campaigns and go over to contacts and sync services let's set up the sync of our contacts we're going to click new sync we're going to choose the module out of the CRM in this case we're going to sync our contacts and then we're going to select which mailing list in Zoho campaigns would we like these contacts to go to um, it will let you uh, avoid selecting a mailing list it's not required I strongly suggest you create a mailing list that's specific to your Zoho CRM contacts just makes things just better organized for later these are marketing contacts now this seems like a silly idea I'm not going to go into the details here but just know select marketing here we are pushing these contacts from our CRM over to Zoho campaigns because we want to email market to them all right there's uh, some reasons I won't go into that you may choose non-marketing at in some rare scenarios but 99% of the time you want marketing here all right uh, empty field value so what this means is if you map a field between Zoho CRM and Zoho campaigns and Zoho CRM has an empty value in that field but Zoho campaigns has some kind of value in that field do you want to overwrite the Zoho campaign side with an empty value you know this is up to you I generally turn that on because if I remove or clear out a field in the CRM I'm probably going to want to clear out that same field in Zoho campaigns we have a few advanced options here these are turned on by default I suggest you just leave them on they mostly have to do with unsubscribes and opting outs um, being in sync between Zoho campaigns and Zoho CRM all right so we've done that those uh, selections here we're going to click next and now we get into our field mappings so I'm not going to go too crazy with this here essentially you can map fields from the contact in the CRM over to the subscriber in Zoho's campaigns you can map fields from the related account of those contacts to that subscriber or contact in Zoho campaigns as well as fields from a related deal okay so the sync is completed it took about two minutes if you have a larger database it'll take a little bit more time um, but you can always come over to the sync history and check and you'll see a status here whether it's been completed or not if it's in progress there'll be a little badge here next to the current time and it will say uh, that is that it is in progress then we're going to go back and create another segment for prospects and then we're going to create one last segment for vendors okay so we have these three segments here if we click on say uh, prospects we look at contacts you can see that it's filtering our total mailing list by only those contacts that are prospects 
And so what's gonna happen is when you go to send your email campaign, you will be able to target either the entire mailing list or one or more segments within the mailing list. Now, for this video, I'm not going through step-by-step -step how to send out an email out of Zoho campaigns. There are tons of videos about that out there on the internet and it is quite intuitive. Um, but just to show you the start of it, if I click the plus here and select email campaign and we select a regular email campaign, I just want to show you where you'll be able to select the recipients of the segments. So sending out an email from Zoho campaigns is pretty easy. You configure the subject, you configure the sender, you know, who it's from, right? And then you decide who are your recipients. So your two options here for your targets or recipients is you can pick a particular mailing list or multiple mailing lists. So if I wanted to send it to everybody in my Zoho CRM, all the contacts, I could pick the mailing list. However, if I wanted to target a segment, I can instead click the segments option. And here I can decide whether I wanna send this email to just customers or maybe customers and prospects or whatever combination of my segments. And then I can click save, okay. And you, after you select your list or your segments, you can click this little link here and it will tell you how many contacts will be receiving this email. Then you would do your content, design the email with the email designer or use an existing template and you would either send out that email immediately or schedule it to be sent at a later date or time. That's really it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It is a pretty easy app to get up and running and definitely want to make sure that Zoho Campaigns is synced up with your Zoho CRM so you're not constantly updating both systems manually, all right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.